Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing, who was Sam Sexton. Um, same as I said to all the other lads, unfortunately I weren't there at the event. Um, what are we now, November? So last you month. Missed you missed out. Missed um, out. Talk us through your fight and how you felt you, you performed. I felt good. You know, last time out I said I was going to be rusty. I was rusty, I had two years out. Um, when I got in there, I just felt sharp. I felt sharp again back to my old way. So um, maybe the one thing I did lack was a little bit of strength. That's due to uh, just not being on the weights beforehand. You know, I never do. I never do big weights. We do light, explosive weights and stuff, um, which sort of generates a bit more power. Um, so next time, hopefully, I can be, I can be nice and fast again, but with the power as well. It's something I did get told quite a lot. Of, sort of your speed was back, and the, yeah. the um, you were whipping the shots in again. You know, like the shots were flowing a bit more. Yeah, see, it's did just, you feel that? Like, yeah, it's just I, I felt like I had bad intentions again. Do you know what I mean? I, I went in there, and and I wanted to, I wanted to stop him. He's tough. He doesn't really get stopped. You know. Um, I went for the stoppage and I felt, I felt comfortable with it as well. I felt yeah. fit, I felt fast, and I did feel strong, even though he didn't go over in the end. Bad intentions. Yeah. Last weekend, Anthony Joshua, Dylan White. Bad intentions. Yeah. Fights all went the way most expected. Me personally, I thought Dylan White was going to stop him. Um, I don't know how you sort of saw the fight going and how, watching on, what did you yeah. think? Well, um, I mean, I know Dylan, we, we spent a long time together in uh, the Klitschko camp. You know, he's a, he's, he's a nice fellow as well. Um, he's strong, he's tough, and he's got a tough, tough attitude about him. So I, I knew he was going to go in there, and I knew he was there to win. Yeah. Rather than just be an opponent and someone to make up the numbers, I knew he was definitely going in to win. And, that, and that's what he done, he went in there to win. He got caught early in the first round, he made it through that, you know, you know give him credit for that. And, and he stepped up again. And I, and I do believe if uh, Dylan White was a championship fighter, He's someone who's used to training for, you know, like 12 round fights and stuff and probably not blowing everybody out himself in the ring. I don't, mm. I don't think he's been past four or five rounds himself. No. Um, it could have been a different fight. There's obviously talks of another fight sort of down the line between the two of them. So, like you say, maybe if them tougher tests come for Dylan White, it, it could be a different, different outcome. Yeah, that's it. I think, um, you know, it's all very well jumping in there and banging people out one or two rounds, you know. But you've got to be out of boxing distance as well. You know, for me, um, Joshua answered a few of my questions. You know, is he going to be, is the stamina going to hold up after so many rounds, three or four rounds? And to me, he really flagged. You know, I'm sure he'll look back at the fight and he'll, um, you know, I'll have his game and he'll work on the things. Um, but for me, if he would have been in there with a championship fighter, it would have been a different story. Talking to Joshua's sort of um, the way he went about the fight, um, like you say, he did start to flag a little bit towards the end. And, the latter rounds, yeah. um, and then everyone keeps talking of different names. Derek Chisora, which is too soon. A lot of people are saying it's too soon for for Joshua. Yeah. Um, someone who's <coughs> fought Derek Chisora twice. Yeah. Um, now on the so, comeback. Yeah, that's it. I mean, yourself. To be fair, I, I would really fancy the fight. You yeah. Know, I've, I've watching him fight the other night and and things he done wrong. Um, yeah, he's strong. He's good. He's technically good, he's big, he's strong, you know, and he's got things to work on. But I saw some, I saw some flaws in there that I quite fancy that. He's holding a title that sort of is a dream of yours to go out and win, really, as well. And he's made clear that he wants to try and win that title outright. Yeah. So, why not? It's, it makes exactly. sense. Exactly. Well, then there's, there's some good domestic fights for him then. And, um, you know, I won the Commonwealth belt, I won the British title. I fought for the British title twice now. Um, both, both, both circumstances at the time weren't good for me. Um, now I've got a clear head, I'm on the comeback, I feel good, I feel strong, I feel fit, you know, I'm coming to my own and uh, let's bring it on. You spend a lot of time with Klitschko um, in multiple training camps that you've done with him. Tyson Fury obviously went over to Germany and got the win. Um, how did you see the fight and what did you make of, sort of Klitschko's performance more than Fury's really? Fury sort of come out and done what he's done in most fights, yeah. whereas Klitschko sort of held back a little bit. Yeah, I mean, all uh, all credit to to Fury. Really, he, he backed up what he said he was going to do. He went out there and he and he, he messed up his head. Oh, that's what genuinely what I believe. He messed Klitschko's head up. He wasn't ready for Tyson. Um, you know, mentally, I think mm -hmm. he's definitely got the tools. But he just seemed like he was waiting for something that never come. You know, he was waiting for a big right hand or something. He he finally did start throwing the right hand. Maybe the 11, 12 rounds too late. Yeah. You know, he so. should he should have dropped his game. He, he was very stale that night. Obviously now the belt's been stripped from Fury as well, so sort of the heavyweight division's now been opened up again at world yeah. level. So yeah. that fight, if 
and when that can get made with Joshua if, if that comes up. Um, there's big opportunities, pathways now opening up all over the heavyweight division. Yeah, that's it. I mean, um, Fury winning is probably the best thing that could happen for the, for the division, to be fair. I mean, it just open, opens it more wide open again. Um, you've got Deontay Wilder, Fury, you've got Povetkin, who's now coming through again, who I think, you know, is going to be a force. Uh, I think Povetkin, um, if it does come off, there's talks of him fighting Wilder. I fancy him to beat Wilder, um, and then maybe a fight with uh, Fury, see what happens. Do you feel you're sort of a dark horse in the, in the heavyweight division, or left in the shadows a little bit? Um, sort of a lot of names get mentioned, but you sort of get left yeah. out. A bit. I, think, I think what it is, is I've just been inactive for a long time. Um, at, the t at the time, you know, I won, the, I won the Southern area, I went straight on to win the prize fighter. I went straight after that to win the Commonwealth twice. I defended the British. The, when, when, I, when I defended it for the British and Commonwealth, when I fought Chisora, that was when things started going wrong for me in my personal life, you know. Right. I mean, pe pe people know what was happening, the people who do know anyway. Um, and I just wasn't right. I, wasn't, I, I didn't want to be in a gym. I didn't want any of that, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it sort of carried on, carried on. Then I had an injury, I had two years out. You know, and I'm back now. I don't feel I don't feel old in boxing terms. No. I feel I still feel fresh. I don't feel I've been in any wars. You know, so I'm ready to take on all newcomers again. So something that your trainer Matt and Graham said to me was, uh, someone said to him, "But Sam's been around for a long while now. He must yeah. be well into his late 30s. But you're not. You're not. You're sort of in your prime now. No, you're don't ready. do that to me, mate. <laughs> yeah, no. Ready for the big tests. Yeah. I think and, uh, I think what it is is because I've been around from it from a young kid. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been boxing down there now for in this particular gym, 17 years. Been boxing 20 years all in all, you know, amateur and pro. And um, so I'm probably the longest member of the gym now. Yeah. You know, I've, I've probably been here the longer than anyone, obviously apart from Graham. You know, so then to everybody else, I probably am 40. And when yeah. I haven't had a shave as well, like I said yeah. to you before, I probably do look a lot older. Yeah. 2016, what can we expect from Sam Sexton? I want a big year. I, I want a big fight to come off. You know, I'm, I'm looking for a big fight. I've had a couple of comeback fights now. I mean, we'll maybe fight again in March and um, mm -hmm. get even one more under my belt. Um, any big opportunity fights to come up, as long as, uh, you know, everything's right, all the, all the paperwork's right, if you like, then um, we'll go for it. So for anyone watching this, fan-wise, follow the journey because it's really not over. It's yeah, it's not over at all. I mean, I, I've been stale for a long time. I, I, I mean, I took on a new fence, you know, like the diner and stuff while I was out, basically. Now it's just, I got rid of the diner. It's just, boom, back into boxing. So watch this space. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. And uh, yeah, best of luck in 2016. Cheers.